Hi everyone, I'm Mike and this is the Sunday Art Show. This week I'm going to do a quick study of a quirky little quail and the inspiration for this painting came from a few different directions actually. So first of all, uh, I was visiting a friend of mine a few years ago now and he keeps quail and I took some reference photos with the intention of doing a painting of one of these little birds at some point and I just never got round to it. The second reason is I used to do something called the Animal Alphabet Challenge on the channel, which I, each week I did a video and I would draw an animal with, using a Sharpie marker pen, just like I'm doing here with the quail on mixed media paper. And I'd do a quick sketch in a few minutes of an animal going through the alphabet, A, B, C, and so on. And I got to the letter P with a pelican, and then I kind of let the series lapse for a bit. So I wanted to get back to that but I wanted to go into colour this time as well. And then coming to the colour aspect of the painting, if you saw last week's video, I did a study of some people in a cafe and I used a little ink tents travel set with a small round water brush. And I really like using the water brush. It's only something I've done a couple of times, but just recently I've got hold of a larger flat brush version of the water brush so I wanted to give that a go in this painting as well. So kind of three reasons for doing this painting of a quail. So if we look at what I've done so far, you can see I've just completed the Sharpie pen sketch. I've used line, but I've also used some hash marks and different textural marks to convey a sense, hopefully, of the texture of the plumage of the bird. But now I'm coming in with my water brush. So this is, as I said, a flat brush. I guess it's around about just under a half inch wide. And I love using flat brushes in general because you can get a really nice range of marks, both narrow lines, little dots using just the corner of the brush. And of course, you can get a much wider mark as well by just using the flat of the brush. So I'm coming in with just a light brown color here to begin to add some color to the scene. And then I've put in a little bit of that same color on the ground. Now before I go any further with the bird, I want to put in a light blue background and that's going to allow me to better judge the tone I use when I come back to working on the animal in just a little bit. So I'm just putting down a thin wash of blue just to really kill the white, but I'm being careful to leave the white of the belly and some of the face uh, uncoated because that's going to be the highlight for the, for the painting. Now the thing with ink tents is once the layer you put down is dry, then it's waterproof, so it's really easy to work over the top of it with another translucent layer. Here I'm coming in with kind of a dark bluey purple, but because it's translucent, some of that lighter colour is showing through, and that's the effect I want. I'm working in a similar way to the way you would work with watercolour, really, just a uh, line followed by thin washes. And you can see that, you know, you get patches, as you put the darker colour down on top, you get very thin layers if you, if you apply it in that way. Or you can use it in a covering manner by just putting down the paint more thickly. So it's really quite flexible, but at the same time, we want to keep some of that first layer of brown showing through because those thinner layers are going to be the most translucent because the thinner the layer of paint you have, the more light reflected off the paper through the paint, so that, that's really, those areas are really going to glow compared with the thinner layers. But I'm now adding a more orangey brown to most of the plumage. And you can see with this larger brush, um, you know, I can really cover quite a lot of area quickly, so I'm really looking forward to using this for some outdoor work. I think it's going to really speed up my outdoor studies of things, because I'm going to be able to cover different areas uh, very quickly indeed and because it's a water brush the water stored in the handle so that that makes things quicker and speedier as well so i'm really happy with with the purchase so having colored most of the bird now i've just decided to change the the ground to green so that's going to make the colors pop a little more give me a little bit more of a complementary color i switch back to my small round brush momentarily to add some thicker yellow highlights in the plumage having just added a coat of a pale blue on the belly because the white of most animals isn't pure white for the most part. And I just want to make some of the background, particularly the left hand side of the painting, much, a much darker blue to really make the highlights on the quail uh, more dramatic. So there's our finished painting of the quail. 
few little close-ups of the line work and the brushwork. So just a quick little study this week. Hope you enjoyed this painting of a quail. As always, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And I hope to see you next Sunday for the next episode of The Sunday Art Show. Thanks very much for watching.